been doing last month? Well, I've been doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So today is the opening of the Avengers movie. So that kind of marks the beginning of the summer movie season. You know, the big blockbusters that come out. I'm personally looking forward to seeing the Dark Knight Rises later in the year. And uh, so I thought it would be a good chance to give you a glance at to how my uh, Joker holiday painting is coming along. I've never really shown it to anybody at its stage yet, but I thought I'd give you guys a look. I've kind of been teasing it along, you know, in the last episode, so I thought I'd show it to you. But first, I want to show you the completed painting that uh, I talked about in the last couple episodes that I did for an art contest, or an art contest, it was about the American River. Well, here it is, in its frame. I named it Current Events, the river current, things taking place, the events. Just to play on words, because I am a smart guy, right? Yeah, right. So, first things first. I turned this in, and uh, I guess they had a lot of competition. And unfortunately, I did not get accepted into the art show. But it's okay. I got a lot of nice compliments from the people working at the show, though. And uh, they, so, my, you know, my thing is, I'll just keep trying. It's, it's art. It's subjective. Can't give up. You know, it, and hey, art is supposed to make you feel good, and it makes me feel good. Yeah, oh, you know, I'm quite proud of this painting. I, I was really excited to do a painting about the American River when this uh, show came up because I've, I've gone to the American River so many times. I used to spend a lot of time there as a kid. It was, it was very dear to my heart, and I wanted to, you know, put something up there that really meant something to me. And so I'm, I'm really pleased at how it came out. So this is probably, unless you've been to the website, this is probably the first time you've seen the actual completed painting. I showed uh, in the previous episode me working on the deer. Uh, since then I did add a little bit of texture to the deer. Uh, put a little little more detail in the face. Added a little bit more shading. But for the most part what you saw in the last episode of me producing the deer is about what is here. So from there I, you know, the, the best part and maybe even the most dangerous part about a painting is when you get towards the end and you can add in details, little things that make it pop out. And the reason I'd say it's the most dangerous is because it's real easy to get carried away. And um, I think I did a good job of not getting carried away here. And uh, I almost got carried away rendering the water. Um, I had to actually redo some of the surface area here because I was trying so hard to make it look deep and strong and at, at one point I almost got it to where it looked really flat and dead and it, it looked worse than it did before so I was able to bring it back though I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And I got the geese here and I really like the geese. They're nice, they're, they're, they're small, understated, they're quiet but there's no mistaking that they're there. The uh, river rock here, you know I'm pretty proud of that rock. I think that's I think it's a good representation of what you'll find in the American River. You know, most of the rocks here are smooth because the river over time has been grinding down and smoothing the rock. And I think I did a pretty good job representing that. The color of this rock, usually at the river, you'll find it... Yeah, you know, there'll be a lot of gray in the rock, uh, but you'll also find a lot of uh, cool colors, like uh, some greens, even a few blues, and that's just from the, uh, the algae-like material that tends to grow on it, especially in the wintertime. And this scene is supposed to be around February, March, just just going to the, getting to the tail end of winter. So you see the, I have the bridge here, and I got the bicyclists. The animals share the river with people, which is really great. It's a great relationship that that we have with nature here. And the American River is really well cared for. It's it's great. I mean, you, you there's about for the bike trail, you know, it parallels the river for about 35 miles, and that's from Sacramento to Folsom. Now, I've been up and down the entire trail, not all at once, <laughs> but I have ridden my bike quite a bit in different sections of that trail, and I've seen it all, and it's, it's wonderful. It's really well maintained. Yes, we have a bridge here, but other than that, in the bike trail that they have there, man's pretty much left the American River alone, and it's really how it should be. Um, you know, the most worrying thing about this painting, I thought, was developing these trees. Okay, well, I guess I'm okay with these trees now in the final painting. 
But I'm kind of wishing I had taken a little more artist license and developed these trees a little bit because, you know, quite honestly, these pine that I found where I took this picture, this is my reference pictures, um, it was a spot where there was a lot of shade, there was not a lot of sun necessarily coming through. So if you've ever seen a pine tree that doesn't get a lot of sun, it grows crazy. It just, you know, windy, windy trunks, you know, and it just has really, um, an awkward look to it. Probably more fascinating to see in real life than it is in a painting. So I kind of regret not just taking a little more artist and you know, license and developing a little more standard tree. So, so you know, I, I thought, well, you know, at the time maybe this is just too much dark, and so I, t I tweaked around with this a little bit. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'm okay with trees, but. Uh, if I had to do this all over again, I probably would have toned down the value of the trees because it is pretty dark. It's like a big square of dark in the upper right. And it tries to balance with this top left square of lighter values. And it's alright. It's I, I've noticed over the years that I, I tend to gravitate towards the dark values. That maybe represents a personality trait. I don't know. Uh, just for composition's, composition's sake, I needed something to bring the viewer's eyes back into the painting. Because it'd be real easy as a viewer to look at this deer, and you come down here and you look at the rocks, you look at these rocks, and then boom, look, you know, the river's taking you off the painting. You know, as a, go a goal as a painter is to keep the viewer in their painting as long as possible. You don't want to give the viewer any excuses for just popping off the painting. So, the idea there is, if you look at the painting and you're zooming along, you see this tree and hopefully you just follow the tree back and look, it leads you to the geese. The geese are looking over here and it's leading back to the deer, etc, etc. So something like this, you know, a very circular composition, that's what I was trying to get. I added in these branches with these leaves for a little bit of depth, kind of sets the deer back there a little bit. And uh, that's about it. If you look at the clouds, and it's pretty, I, I kind of made it subtle. Nobody's really commented on this, uh, the people I've shown it to, you know, but um, I wanted to also make a statement that, you know, as beautiful as the river is, we got to remember, you know, we have able to take care of it. It's not really ours, it's just kind of unknown to us. But also, in my mind, I feel that, uh, that God has has given this to us, this beautiful landscape. I mean, this is just an example of what's been given to us and that you know God is always watching over it. And so in the clouds here, I painted uh, my representation of an angel keeping an eye on the river looking down. And if it's not obvious yet, there it is right there. Alright, well, current events is my 40th painting. I've been painting for about seven and a half years, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. This painting uh, is back in my hands now, so it is for sale. The original is for sale. Go to my website, ryanwilliamsart.com. You can purchase the original. It's oil on canvas, 24 by 36, and I will make reproductions on canvas and on paper if you would rather uh, purchase a cheaper option. So uh, I hope you like it, and that's going to wrap up this painting. So let's see what I'm working on next. Aha! Here we have what I've been working on for months. And why have I been working on this for months? Well, obviously it's got to be right, but also I've been struggling with... No. Yes, I've been struggling with this guy supposed to be Doc Holliday as he appeared in the movie Tombstone. I'm getting there, trust me, this is a lot closer than it has been, but for some reason Val Kilmer's face in that movie is very difficult to render properly. In previous versions I had him rendered, he looked too fat. In other versions I had him looking too gaunt, too skinny. I'm getting closer, this is still not it. I think I need to compress his face a little bit and then I'll have it. That's all I'm going to say about this guy, because this guy is frustrating as hell. 
Let's go back over here. It's supposed to be Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight. I like that a lot. There won't be a lot of changes to that. By the way, if you're asking why is everything black and white, that's not going to be the final painting. This is a, a grisaille, which is um, to establish lights, darks, shapes, values, and all that good stuff. So, let's talk real quick about what is this. It's Doc Holliday and the Joker playing cards. And it's really just an excuse to mash two f movies together. It's two of my favorite movies. The Dark Knight is one of my favorite all time. Tombstone is my favorite western of all time. And they're linked by cards. That's really the only thing I can link them together. And it's just it's just a visual pun, basically. It's just to have some fun. You know, I, I really if I can get the expression right, having Val Kilmer look at the viewer like, what the hell is this guy? And I'm trying to play poker and this guy's throwing up a joker, you know. If I can get that right, I think that'd be pretty funny, just to the eyes. You know, the Joker with his manic, ah, I got you, kind of expression. I think it's cute. It's silly. So I'm going to have poker chips here. You can see they're laid out in charcoal. I'm going to have other cards. Maybe a drink here. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about putting Joker's knife stuck in the table here. And uh, so the background is going to be, you know, a nice, soft, understated background. This is what I'm working on now. <laughs> I've... I've had to put this on the shelf and then I'd render a few paintings in between because this is what I'm working on. I'm, I, I'm so determined to make sure this works. I'm not going to compromise on this painting. This has to be what I see in my head. and It starts with getting Val Kilmer accurately portrayed as he was in, in Tombstone. So hopefully I'll get that. So anyway, I think it's appropriate to to show you what I've got now on the day of the Avengers coming out because it is the summer movie season now and you know Dark Knight Rises is coming out, the sequel to Dark Knight and well wouldn't that be nice if I could get that finished before the movie came out just just for my own peace of mind because this this painting, I shouldn't say the painting but this part of the painting has been driving me absolutely bonkers so you know there's another jury art show coming up that I'm going to enter put on by the Sacramento Fine Arts Center once again, just like the last one was. And this one is any subject matter I want. So if I can get this done by July, I'll probably put this in that contest and see how it does. Uh, but I tell you, I'm not going to rush just to get in the show. I'm not rushing this. I, I put so much work in this. You know, I probably rendered this face like uh, 15 times. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? And, you know, it's just, I can do the sketches. I do all kinds of sketches of his face. And then I get to the painting, and, and the, I get a little bit lost, I think, in the in the shadowing of his face and such. And, and then, then I, somehow I managed to screw up the proportions of the nose. You know, I think the nose is a little bit too long here. And, you know, if I bring the nose up a little bit, maybe bring his mouth up a little bit. So that's frustrating. The Joker's face, I rendered that one one shot and that was it. So at any rate, that's what, that's what I'm working on. Will this be the next painting? Will this be number 41? I don't know. If this holds me back some more, I'm gonna put it on the shelf and start another painting. That's in my way that for me for me that's how I clear my head and come back to it fresh. You know, I've done this twice now. I, from the time I started this painting, I completed uh, the uh, billiard scene. And then I completed uh, current events, which you just saw. So I've done two paintings in the, in the time I started this painting, you know. So that's what I'm working on. I uh, look forward to showing you some progression uh, videos and photos of this. So, all right. I guess that will do it. And thanks again for checking me out. You can visit my uh, art blog, visit my Facebook fan page, visit my website. Blah, blah, blah. Marketing, marketing, salesman, salesman. Ugh, you got it all, right? All right. Thanks very much, and uh, talk to you in the next episode, and I'll have some updates on this for the next episode. Bye. Creepy.